Now we're making calls to find out exactly what caused the unexpected death of a high school athlete. The tragedy coming just days after dozens of students and staff at that very same school came down with a stomach illness. Health officials adamant tonight the cases are unrelated and the school is safe. Our Adam Weiner tonight covering Polk County. Well, we know he's out there watching us, and that's the only comfort we got. Heartbroken and confused, friends of Gil Croner remember the young man fondly. Always goofy. We used to joke he was the world's biggest five-year-old. But students also have a lot of questions about how this 18-year-old athlete, known for always being in great spirits, could suddenly die. We need to monitor for signs of bacterial meningitis. Uh, those symptoms include headache, fevers, neck stiffness, uh, sensitivity to light, nausea, vomiting, seizures, or confusion. Croner's death apparently came quickly on Friday, just as the school was already dealing with what the health department is calling a simple stomach virus. And the school did uh, take appropriate precautions to decontaminate and disinfect uh, the facility. Uh, so we believe that, that in terms of the GI illness, that, that there's no longer a concern. But there is concern for many parents, which is part of the reason classes were canceled Friday. And as students and faculty return to school today, they tell us they're both hoping the school is safe and praying for Gil's family. Gil was an amazing human being. Uh, he was a, certainly a, a, a young man of great faith um, and of God. In Lakeland, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News.